Alright, what's going on guys? Welcome back to some more Fallout 4. In the last episode, we just helped Nick Valentine get out of Vault 114. He was being held there by some old gang members that he knew. And uh, now we are actually heading back to Diamond City to talk to Nick more. And to give him some information about our son so he can help us find our son. So, uh... Yeah, I uh, I looked at the first two videos I uploaded doing honestly really really well, and I can't thank you guys enough for the likes and for the views and I don't know on one of them um, there was a nice comment that somebody left and I honestly really really appreciate that guys. I remember I said this in a in a previous video that I. I love you guys for this and it means so much to me and I honestly appreciate it so much when you just leave you know positive feedback and everything it shows me that you really really do like this series and that you like what I'm doing and you are interested in everything you know so just keep up with the likes keep up with the good comments again I honestly I, I appreciate it so so much so Let's get right in here and let's tell Nick about her son. Hopefully, he can help us find him. Are you here, Nick? Oh God, it's really you. Oh, it's hard to mistake this mug for anyone else. <laughs> you keep laughing at death. Someday, death's gonna laugh back. Not as long as I got a few friends to back me up. You saved Nick, this agency, and my job. Thank you. No problem. Hey, happy to do it. Yeah? Go diving into scary pre-war ruins all the time then, do you? Here, every cap we agreed to for finding him. Plus a little something extra. You know, well, if damn. you're looking for work and don't mind putting on the detective hat, Nick sure could use a new partner. Whoa. One case at a time, Ellie. Our new friend needs our help first. All right, let's get down to business. Take a seat. Make yourself comfortable. Trying to find someone who's gone missing. Devil is in the details. Tell me everything you can, no matter how painful it might be. We were in a vault when it happened. Vault 111. It, it was some kind of cryo facility. You were on ice, huh? More importantly, you were underground, sealed up. A lot of obstacles just to take one person. What else can you tell me? My wife was... murdered. She was trying to keep them from taking Sean, and they... they just... It's okay. You don't need to say anything more. So, we're talking about a group of cold-hearted killers. They waited until something went wrong to resort to violence. Anything else you remember? There was a man and a woman they didn't say much, but I remember they called me the backup. So we're talking a small team, professionals, the kind that know to keep their lips tight when they're on the job. Not sure what the backup means, though. Anything else you remember? We're looking for my son, Sean. He's less than a year old. Why would anyone take him? Good question. Why your family? Why an infant? I mean, you'll be taking on all of his care, and the baby needs a lot of it. Well, that confirms it. This isn't a random kidnapping. Whoever took your kid had an agenda. Hmm. There's a lot of groups in the Commonwealth that take people. Raiders, super mutants, the gunners. And then, of course, there's the Institute. Who are the gunners? High-end mercenaries. No job too brutal. They're in the running as likely suspects. They wouldn't be the ones pulling the strings. You think raiders might have done this? <laughs> I honestly doubt it. They can barely organize themselves, let alone pull off something this complicated. Wait. Super mutants? What are they? Big, green, muscles on muscles. In other words, hard to miss. I think we can safely rule them out. 
So you think this institute is responsible? Well, they're the boogeymen of the Commonwealth. Something goes wrong, everyone blames them. Easy to see why. Those early model synths of theirs strip whole towns for parts, killing everything in their way. Then you got the newer models, good as humans, infiltrate cities and pull strings from the shadows. Worst of all, no one knows why they do it, what their plan is, where they are. Not even me. I'm a synth myself. It's got its prototype anyway. You're a prototype? As far as I know. Never seen any other synth like myself. There's the older ones that are dumb as rocks and all metal. And there's the newer ones that are almost human. I'm somewhere in between. You don't know anything about them? Really? Some kind of security setting strips or blocks out those memories. It's not just me. Any synth that gets trashed, left behind, or escapes the Institute has the same problem. Some of them kind of fail safe. Either way, I need to find Sean. Right. Speculation is getting us off track. Let's focus on what you saw. What did these kidnappers look like? One of them came right up to me. Bald head. Scar across his left eye. Wait. It couldn't be. You didn't hear the name Kellogg at all, did you? No. They never said their names. Hmm. Way too big of a coincidence. Ellie, what notes do we have about the Kellogg case? The description matches. Bald head, Scar, reputation for dangerous mercenary work, but no one knows who his employer is. He bought a house here in town, right? And he had a kid with him, didn't he? Yeah, that's right. The house in the abandoned West Stands. The boy with him was around 10 years old. Maybe it's another kidnapped kid. Yeah, either that or he's got a son of his own. Not a comforting thought in any case. Both of them vanished a while ago. Haven't been heard or seen since. Let you and I take a walk over to Kellogg's last known address. Oh. See if we can snoop out where he went. Security doesn't really go to that part of town, but if you two you should still be careful. I always <coughs> am. So I saw there was an option for saying that it was Sean. But I mean, that doesn't really make any sense because, like he's saying, and like we saw, Sean is like little under a year, if not just a year old, so I would have to say it's just another kidnapped kid. This is us right here. I'm assuming. Locks really strong. Nick, here we are. Keep an eye out, will you? If I can get this open. Give me a sec. One heck of a lock. Something to hide, Kellogg. Why don't you give it a try? There's no way I'm doing that. It's a master. Lock tight. Hey, Valentine. Stubborn lock, ain't it? See that platform in the distance? In the city entrance? That's the elevator to the mayor's office. Why don't you go ask around there? I'll stay here and see if I can jimmy this lock. Hmm. 
Okay. So we're going up to this platform. Wait, actually... I think I have upgrades. Oh, I do. I have two. Okay. Um... Charisma. I know charisma comes in handy a lot. So what? Uh, I have... Okay, so I can pick between Lone Wander, Venturing Without a Companion. Oh, I always have a companion, though. We can do that. So we can go all the way down to Local Leader. You're able to establish supply lines between your workshop settlements. Consume with beasts. Or com uh, commune, not consume. Commune with beasts. Leave your gun, aim at an animal below your level, and gain a chance to pacify it. That's cool. Your faith can or your faithful canine companion can hold an enemy, giving you a greater chance of hit them with vats. Okay. Your charming and dangerous women suffer five percent more damage in combat and are easier to persuade in dialogue. That could come in handy. We're gonna do that. And are even easier to persuade in dialogue. They are also easier to pacify with the intimidation perk. I think Lady Killer all the way. I think that was a pretty good uh, selection right there. You just never know when that's going to come in handy. And I was reading, and uh, in any Fallout, they've been saying Lady Killer is always a really, really good perk. Oh no, dog meat, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, bud. Um, they say Lady Killer is always a really good perk to uh, fully level up early on. So, where are we actually going? Oh, oh, hey. Hello. Hey, bud. I'm in the middle of making a video. Oh, my be homie. I'll just mute myself. Or uh, I don't know. Sorry, guys. Oh, you muted me. Okay, that's cool. No, I'm just listening. Mute your fucking mic. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna leave. Just invite me back whenever. <laughs> oh my fucking god! All right. What are you doing here, Piper? Nah, -uh. not until it's in print. You can read all about it in the next issue. It's okay. Section area, Miss Piper. The mayor needs to make time for more responsible citizens. <laughs> I was just leaving, anyways. Okay, Lady Killer didn't really come in handy there. The mayor's receiving visitors as long as they aren't members of the press. Did you need help? I feel like hitting Kellogg's house is going to be way too predictable. Let's try to see so the mayor. Just head in and talk to McDonough? Go right ahead. His office is open. He likes you to are make ugly. Everyone when he can. Holy fuck, your nose. It's so big. <laughs> funny business around the mayor. You got it? Hey, fuck you, boy. I'll do whatever I want. Ah, yes. I remember you, our new arrival. I wish I was in your shoes. Getting to see our glorious city for the first time. How can I help? Um, okay, so it's the same options basically. I'm gonna hit. I'm this. looking for a key to a house in the city. I assume the mayor's office has a copy. <laughs> well, we don't have every key in the city. But where would we put them all? <laughs> Uh, 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 every citizen in my city has a right to their privacy. Now, if we did have a key, only the owner can ask for it. That's my final word. Mm. Please, Mayor McDonough. This man Kellogg kidnapped my son. I need to find him. I see. I'm sorry. Are you fucking serious? However horrible the crimes this Mr. Kellogg may have committed. Your word alone isn't hard evidence. So that's it? You're not going to help? Security is part of what keeps Diamond City above the petty squabbles and misfortunes of the Commonwealth. Yeah, though so he never I fucking investigate kidnaps. I'm not going to bribe him. It's All a right. waste. Thanks for nothing. I know it's a 
disappointing. You go fuck but yourself. I think of all the people of bloated fuck. Windbag. Fuck you. Yeah, he is a bloated windbag. Piece of shit. Okay. Geneva. Oh. Did you need something else? I need to talk to someone about Kellogg's old house in the West Stand. Mr. Kellogg's residence? He left town a while ago. We foreclosed on the property and locked it up. If there was something belonging to the man that you have a claim on, you could ask the mayor to hear you out. No guarantees. Come on. Can't you help me yourself? And if I could, why should I? Oh, I can fucking bribe her too. Is everybody in this city just scumbags? Um, I guess we'll try Please. her. All I want to do is find my son. The man who owned that house kidnapped him. I've heard the sob stories before, so save them. Wow. Now, do I seriously have to bribe this fucking bitch? Maybe we can reach an agreement? I just happen to have a pile of caps here. A gift? For me? Oh, how generous. Oh, oh my fucking go god. Leaving the key out on my desk and forgetting to put it back. That is the most irritating fucking thing I have experienced in this game. Wow. Just wow. Alright, I got the fucking house key. Actually. Let me try something. Where'd she go? Oh, hey Mary, you fat fuck. <gasps> oh. D dog, are you fucking kidding me? Or D dog, dog me. Actually, let me. I'm gonna try something here, guys. Oh, there they are. Who's there? Oh no! <laughs> Did it not work? I don't think it worked. Fuck. Fuck you. Alright. Okay, well, we're back, and, okay, her fucking eyes are closed, but she's holding an invisible gun glitching through the bed, and I'm hidden, okay, well, the stupid fucking bitch can keep my caps, I guess, that's so fucking, that's, that's just annoying. Good to know Diamond City. Oh. Good to know Diamond City is always looking out for me. I can't even fucking investigate a piece of shit guy's house who stole my son without having to give him 250 fucking cats for it. Uh, I thought Lady Killer would do something there, but apparently it's not. Even though my charisma is the highest upgraded thing. This game just wanted to fuck me, so. That's always fucking great. <sighs> that was just a little irritating. Okay, where the fuck am I going? Oh, right here. Da 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 da. <sighs> Got the key? All right, head in. You do the honors. All right, there we go. Let's take a look around. Kellogg must have left something behind. 
Okay. I guess I'll take it all. Um. I guess. Wait, what the hell was that? Oh, <laughs> the table lamp. Nothing here. Check out that desk. Yeah, I checked it out. There wasn't really anything on it. Get the fuck out of the way, dog me! Oh my god! Just getting all up on my shit. When it's stout beer, 44 caliber bullets, and cigars. San Francisco sunlights. Mm, oh! Brand. Yeah! Yo, so much purified water. I'm taking all this shit. There's Nuka Cherry too? Apparently there is. You gonna talk? Nope, sorry. I'm looting. I wonder if dog meat could pick up the scent. Say, that's not a bad idea. Some dogs out there in the Commonwealth can track a man for miles. Well, dog meat seems eager for the job. To let him have a whiff, see if he picks up on the trail. Uh, before you head out, uh, I know this is personal business. You have to face Kellogg on your own. Just say so. No, fuck no, dude. You're coming with me. I want you with me on this, Nick. All You've right. been with me the entire time. Why would I just ditch you here? Yeah, fuck him. Your show from here Bald on piece out, of shit, okay? stealing my son. You say jump, I'll say how high. I like you, Nick. Alright guys, well I think that's going to do it for this part. In the next episode we're going to give uh, Dog Meat this cigar and have him, I guess, find where Kellogg is. So uh, go ahead and drop a like, comment, subscribe if you want. Twitter, Instagram is linked in the description and I'll talk to you guys later.